What's going on guys? This week we're going to be reviewing the brand new Trapeze Trampoline Box and Animation Throwdown. So first up, like always, is the legendary pre-combo of the box, Pool Shark. So as far as pre-combos go, this is actually a really pretty good looking one for defense, just based on its skills. It has 9 Bodyguard when quad fused out. Bodyguard is a great skill to have on defense to block your opponent's punch and gas damage. It also has 8 Hijack here, which is great to prevent your opponents from crazing or boosting up against you. It also has that 12 punch too, so you are going to be dealing out some extra damage to be causing your opponents some headaches there so they have a harder time getting that perfect score against you in Rumble. Stat wise, the 15 attack is pretty, pretty average, it's nothing too OP, and the 55 HP while not killer crazy good, it's not horrible either, it's right there in that sweet zone for um, HP wise that I'm looking for on defense. Anything above 50 is great for defense in a um, deck for Rumble. And especially when you have Bodyguard thrown into the mix, it's very unlikely that this card will be taken out in one hit. So it is a good pre-combo to run defensively because of that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the legendary items in the box. First up is the new Millie's Trampoline card. When quad fused out, this card has 16 attack and 40 HP, which makes it a pretty versatile card. Stat wise it would lean a bit more on offense than defense but because it does have a bodyguard that can protect you a bit on defense there. It also does have 10 payback and 10 cripple. Both of those are great defensive skills to try to hinder your opponents and give them a lower score so because of those skills that does counterbalance the 40 HP a bit so that does make this a versatile item that you can run on offense or defense. As for the combos, it makes pretty much the exact same combos that we covered in a previous box review. So if you want to have a detailed look at those, feel free to check that out. That is going to be linked in the description and also on screen. The next item in the box is Doubles Ping Pong. When quad fused out, this is a, also another versatile card. 13 attack isn't anything special, but it's not terrible either. 46 HP also is not really above that 50 range that I look for, but again, it's not insanely low, so you can hypothetically still run this defensively, though it is a bit risky because with only 46 HP and no supportive skills to protect itself, it can be taken out in one shot by a good combo. Skill-wise, it does have 12 boosts, so you can technically increase the HP of this card every time you do make a combo. And then, I'm sorry, not boost, recover. I always mix those two up. It has 12 recover. Um, it has 8 punch, so that's always nice if you want to do a little bit of extra damage. And it has 9 leech, so it can heal itself up a little bit. All in all, though, by the by, you are going to want to be make making this into a combo sooner than later. Speaking of the combos though, as you can see here, it does make 42 just like the other one. It makes pretty much the exact same one. So once again, feel free to check out that previous box review. Links will be in the description. And the last item in the box that we're going to be going over is Tom Landry Baseball Team. This is one of the ones that's going to lean a bit more towards defense than offense, though you can run it offensively too. With 50 HP, it's right there at the bottom of that sweet zone that I'm looking for. Skill-wise, it does have some nice um, defensive skills there as well with the hijack. Hijack is always good, like I mentioned earlier, to prevent your opponents from crazing or boosting against you. Speaking of boost, this card has 9 boost of its own when quad fused, so you can also increase the attack of this card for every combo that you make yourself. You also have that nice support with the 7 motivate. It's always nice to have some motivation there to help your team out and get that, get that attack just way up there and cause maximum damage. Same thing for the combos, this one has two additional ones, but again, all the combos are ones we have covered in a previous box review, so be sure to check those out. That's it for all of the legendary items in the box, now let's take a look at the characters. First up is Hank Hill. As I've mentioned in many box reviews before, Hank is one of the best characters you can have for the legendaries. He's right up there with Fry. He has a lot of amazing combos across quite a few battleground effects and traits. So definitely get your hands on some quad fuse copies of him if you can. Especially for Disguise, he has that beautiful Devil Hank combo. That's one of the killer titans of the game for that. So definitely a good one to have a lot of. For his skills, he does have 10 boost and recover. Those are both nice to kind of just buff him up if you are making other combos. Um, especially great during Siege if you're running a King of the Hill deck for that. Because you can definitely get a team of Hanks to be a little power army there. He also has that support from 
four cheer all to other King of the Hill cards. That also will come into play there, though you will not see use of that outside of an all King of the Hill deck, or a mostly King of the Hill deck, as that does only go to fellow King of the Hill cards. And as you can see here, Hank, as of this point in time, does make 186 combos. He does combo with 186 different cards right now, which is one of the higher stats in the game. So he does make quite a few combos, which does make him a really great character. There are way too many of his combos to go over, so I am not going to be touching upon them in this video. Feel free, though, to check them out in-game if you want, or you can visit the Cartoon Battle website for a full list of combos and recipes. I'll have the link for that down in the description. And the other character in the box is Meg Griffin. Meg was recently added a little while back. Um, breakdown of her, she's pretty versatile. Nothing too killer on the attack, and the HP is beneath that um, defensive sweet zone that I'm looking for. However, she does have bodyguards, so that does kind of make up for that a bit, so she can work defensively because of that. She's got 12 leech, so she is a self-healer, and she does have 13 heal to family guy, so she is a great support character for a family guy deck for those heals. Combo-wise, she only does combo currently with 124 cards in the game right now, so not quite as many as Hank, so that is a little unfortunate. However, since they did introduce Meg as a legendary card, they have been showing a lot more support for her by adding new combos every time a Battleground effect starts, so hopefully that continues to increase for further ones. Once again, I'm not going to be going over all 124 of those, so feel free to check those out on your own time in the, on the website in the link below or in-game. And that's it for the legendary characters. Now let's take a quick look at the epic pre-combos of the box. So first up is Trapeze Bob, and looking at the quad fuse of him, I'm gonna be honest right off the bat, I do not like him just because those stats are horrendous. The only saving grace for this pre-combo are its skills. It has a really good amount of payback, hijack, and gas for its skills there for an epic pre-combo. So pretty good for those. Those are all great defensive skills, but with his, um, his, with his HP there at 37, that is horrible for defense. This card will get one shot into Oblivion. If you're in a lower level guild, um, you can run this if you want in a, your Rumble deck. I'm sure at the lower levels it'll survive at least the one hit to cause some damage, but anywhere in the top, I would say 250 or higher for Rumble. If you're in a guild in those around those rankings, don't run this. It's gonna be an easy one shot target for your opponents. And the other epic pre-combo in the box is Coach Farnsworth. This one definitely leans towards defense. It's still not quite up to my standard what I'm looking for. I usually look for 50 HP or above for defense, but 46 isn't horrible. You can still run it at the lower levels of play. It will definitely survive some hits. It's also got some nice support skills there with 9 shield that can go to any card when it is quad fused out. So that's great to protect your line. And it has 4 cheer all to all cards. So that's fantastic. It's not limited to a certain show or trait. It can go to any card. That's great support. You also got that 11 punch so it will be dealing out a bit of damage as well on top of its normal 12 attack. Alright, so here are my final thoughts on this box. The Legendary Pre-Combo Pool Shark is a pretty good defensive one to run. I can see that being pretty useful, not just during the current Battleground effect of Athletic, but also pretty useful during just regular defense play and rumble off Battleground effect as well. And I can see it having some pretty decent usage in an American Dad Siege deck, maybe. As for your three items, it's great that all three of them are the brand new ones, so you have that working for you to make all of the new athletic combos they just added, and there are a, is a lot of support in that for some of the older combos to make it too, so you do have a lot of combo potential with all three of those items, which is pretty cool. As for the characters in the box, both are pretty good characters. Hank is a fantastic character. My only gripe though is neither of them really make any athletic combos I personally would want to run during the athletic battleground effect. There are plenty of other better combos in my opinion to run, so as good as these two characters can be, I don't really see them having a place in athletic, at least not for me, so that's kind of a ding in its score there in my opinion. As for your epic pre-combos there, Neither of them really wow me, especially Trapeze Bob, that's kind of horrible in my opinion, so that's like a huge negative in the column there. So when I factor all of these in together, I just get a meh feeling about this box, so it's just going to be an average 3 out of 5 Golden Turd rating. Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the review, if you did, please be sure to click that like button, and if you're new to the channel or haven't already, be sure to subscribe. 
Till next time, guys. Peace.